Thank you very much for the introduction. And uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Yue Qingwen from Shanghai Institute of Ceramics, Chinese uh, Academy of Science. And uh, my mentor is Professor Luo. Uh, sorry to change my presentation title uh, because I want to introduce more about uh, our group. Uh, the title of my presentation today is High Performance the Single Crystal Epoxy Composites and Their Applications in Brown Bed Transducers. Okay, I will give my talk in these four parts. Uh, first, we all know that uh, compared with uh, the modern uh, medical diagnostics, uh, the ultrasonic transducer, uh, the ultrasonic diagnostics uh, uh, could be the first choice due to a lot of uh, benefits, a lot of advantages. Uh, so for the uh, transducer imaging, uh, we all want to enlarge the brown bed. Uh, we all want to enlarge the bed width of the transducer. Uh, maybe this picture can uh, this picture can give us the reason why we want to the uh, brown bed. The picture uh, comes from the uh, Dr. Shen Jie in 2005. Uh, in in 2005, uh, they call this kind of uh, transducer Q wave. Uh, in this picture, we know that the brown band response can cover more information, uh, more uh, post-echo uh, than the narrow band response, uh, which has uh, which is very uh, good in harmonic imaging. Uh, in this kind of in this kind of pure uh, transducer. Uh, we use the uh, single crystal as a puzzle material. And uh, compared with the traditional materials, uh, the single crystal has both a puzzle electric constant and also uh, higher copy factors. Uh, our group uh, started to uh, grow and investigate the single crystals from 1997. And we did a lot of work on these single crystals, uh, and we investigated the uh, temperature and also the uh, piezoelectric constant in different positions to uh, enable to uh, support, uh, enable to provide the uh, best part of the single crystal. And we also investigated the uniformity of the uh, single crystal uh, in one warfare. Um, and uh, in this picture, we, we can say that uh, the uh, piezoelectric constant, the universe, uh, uniformity of the piezoelectric constant uh, is uh, good and uh, can meet the uh, fabricating needs. Mm. We can also provide the high quality and big size single crystals uh, grow along all one directions with the uh, 18 millimeter in diameters. Uh, for the brown bed transducers, we uh, need not only the higher piezoelectric uh, constant, but also the higher carbon factors, electric mechanical carbon factors. Uh, that's the reason we uh, fabricated the uh, one three and the two two composite. Uh, in our group, we usually use four methods, uh, the dating and filling method to fabricate the 1-3 uh, and 2-2 two -two composite. Uh, usually, uh, methods A and B uh, usually uh, used for uh, the workers working at low frequency. And uh, methods C and D are usually used in the uh, workers uh, working at relative high frequency. Uh, this is uh, this picture is uh, uh, composite uh, composite wafers we fabricated in our lab, and uh, from the picture we can see that uh, we can fabricate the wafers at about uh, 14 millimeters in length and uh, 20 millimeters in width, uh, and also the uniformity of the different uh, position of the wafers are 
Uh, excellent. Um, we use this uh, measurement system to uh, me uh, to investigate the uh, Poisson echo uh, to uh, investigate the uh, Poisson echo uh, result. Uh, so today I'd like to uh, introduce uh, four different uh, kinds of uh, transducers uh, we fabricated by the composite in our uh, lab. Um, two for single element and two for the orange transducers. The first one is uh, the single element uh, transducers uh, working at two megahertz. Uh, we we fabricated two cats of this uh, uh, from, uh, we, uh of this uh, transducer uh, by two two complete and one three complete respectively, and the uh, bandwidth of these two uh, transducers are all uh, upper than ninety uh, percent. Another uh, single element transducer is. Uh, Relative has relative high working frequency. Uh, one is seven, uh, and uh, one is seven uh, um, megahertz, and another is six point three megahertz. And uh, also the uh, bandwidth of these two uh, transducers are all uh, more than one hundred percent. Uh, the third one is uh, orange transducers. Uh, this transducer we used uh, the uh, one three composite to fabricate this kind of transducer. Uh, the working frequency is three megahertz. And uh, this kind of transducer, the uh, bandwidth is uh, ninety percent, ninety point uh, oh three, uh, oh six percent. And the last one, the last kind of the array, the working frequency is ten. Uh, uh, the working frequency is ten uh, megahertz, and we use the two two complete to fabricate this kind of transducer. Uh, and uh, we also investigated the uh, twelve elements in this array transducer. I uh, in this array transducer, and the, the uh, each element has a good uniformity. Uh, post person equal response. Uh, the working frequency is ten point oh uh, ten point one eight, and uh, the uh, bandwidth uh, is up to one hundred twenty seven point seven percent. So in summary, uh, we can uh, we can say that the PMNT and PMNT single crystals are the next choice for the uh, brown bed transducers. And uh, in our group, we uh, have different uh, method, methods to fabricate the 1-3 and 2-2 composites. And the size of the composites can reach, can reach to uh, 40 mm and uh, 20 mm in width. And also, we uh, fabricated several uh, transducers based on composites based on 2-2 uh, complex and 1-3 complex re respectively. And all the, com all the bandwidth of the transducers were, uh, up were bigger than the PZT complex based transducers. Uh, thank you very much.